Some of us have a clear-cut career path, while others have to search for the point where their particular talents and passions intersect. Louise Abraham started out with a talent for art and a flair for fashion, but it took a while before she discovered how to combine this with her passion for baking. Karishma made up with Louise to fill in the details. Visiting Paris has been a lifelong ambition for Louise Abrahams, and as a teenager, she scrimped and saved to pay for the trip. Then adulthood intervened, and after attending art school and entering the world of work, married life and family took up all her time. Finally, Lamise was able to visit the City of Light, and she discovered that she could combine her love of baking and couture in the confectioner's art. I believe we should all aspire to be a beautiful cupcake in a world full of muffins. Lamise Abrahams not only agrees with me, but she bakes delicious cupcakes and other baked goods beautiful enough to fuel all sorts of aspirations. How are you? Very well, thank you. This is my daughter, Nuha. Hello. <gasps> Something smells delicious. Yes, we've been baking all morning. We're all set and ready for you. We can't wait to decorate. Let's go. Yay, let's go. <laughs> this looks interesting. Let me tell me what we're going to be doing today. One of my favorite new trends is the pineapple. And it's perfect, it's summery, and it's fresh. So let's do the pineapple. Lamise, where did your love for baking start? It started from a very young age. My mom is an amazing baker. She's an amazing baker. She's always in the kitchen. So basically, I learned everything from her. When did you decide to turn your passion into a business? My kids have all grown up and I had a lot more free time. And I've, I've always been baking and I've had people begging me to bake for them. So my friend from Homemade, she actually asked me to do her opening of a new concept. From there, it just grew. People loved what I did, and that's two years ago, and I haven't stopped being busy, and it's just grown so much, and I'm loving it. I'm so excited, what's first? First, we're gonna melt the chocolate, so that we can start doing the chocolate shards to, to decorate the pineapple with, and Nua will do that for us. Okay, so what's next? First, we'll t need the butter. We'll just need to whip this up for at least five minutes. It makes it really nice and fluffy until it gets a creamy texture. And as you can see, it's changed to this really creamy texture. And now we'll add the icing. And just add a little bit at a time or you'll get a, an icing cloud all over you. <laughs> Meanwhile, mom's very capable assistant had been busy melting the chocolate. And now she set about carefully creating the individual shards that would give the completed pineapple its characteristic skin. Okay, so now we add pineapple juice. You recently had a life-changing trip to Paris. I've always been in love with Paris and since I started baking I became obsessed with macarons and I just couldn't get it right. So I went to a school called La Cuisine and there they taught me how to make two different kinds of macarons, the French method and the Italian method and now I don't have a problem with macaroons anymore. What have been some of the most interesting techniques that you've learned? One of my favorite things is the brush stroke. That's what I'm going to show you how to make the pineapple cake today. So what do we do next? First we need to make this pineapple look like a pineapple cake so let's add some yellow food coloring. Just a few drops. Just give it a whiz. That's lovely and yellow. Okay, so what next? What we're going to do now is just place the icing into a piping bag. Where do you draw inspiration from? I get a lot of my inspiration from my daughter Nua because she's always watching some baking channel and coming to me with new ideas that we have to try. So now we're gonna pipe. So we'll take one sponge and then start in the middle. So this is basically the glue that's going to hold Correct. The cakes together, right? Okay. That's right. And then you can just make sure that it's all even. It looks amazing. Number two. Can I put this one on top for you? Yes, you may. Perfect. 
it. I'm just gonna get all the icing all over the cake and then we're gonna place the shards all over it to create the pineapple. Hello, new one. Perfect timing, it's time to decorate. Yay! So these are the shards. We'll just <coughs> place these onto the cake. So we'll start at the top. Thank you so much for your time and this is the only pineapple I'll be eating. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen today.